She said you would come here, to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they are mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Atris. That is not who I am, not any longer. She has not existed for some time, I think. There was always something else within me. It just took time for its voice to be heard. The old woman you travelled with finally made me listen to myself, to the galaxy. She said that you would come here and that you would face me in battle. All the knowledge of the Sith gathered from across the galaxy, brought here by my servants, so that I might uncover their secrets and use them to track them down. But now they have been drawn from the shadows of the Outer Rim, and the only final matter to attend to is finishing you. I do not know, yet, but it does not matter. They have come here to face the Republic in battle, and they will be destroyed. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been part of my plans for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith and wipe them out forever. These Sith are cowards, striking from the shadows to kill Jedi. 
I needed a target to draw them out, but I could not risk my own life, all that remained of the Jedi. So I arranged for you to return to the Republic, leaked information of your past, and then waited for the Sith to come. And they did. But you came to Telos against my predictions. Now they are here, I can finally face this enemy and defeat them. Surrender to you, never. Let us end this. Kill me. End this. I did not expect mercy from you, here, at the end, after all that has happened between us. If you will not kill me, then what will you do? Where she walks is hidden from my eyes, but not from those of her kind. It is possible I may draw one last piece of knowledge from these holocrons. <laughs> You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those deaths. All those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy, echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost to us. Yes, I had thought she was awaiting me at that place, but I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me, but for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malachor V, to finish what you started. Yes, you are an echo in the Force. A hollow space where it has been wounded. It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness. But it can be done. It creates places where the Force is difficult to hear and difficult to find one's way. And you carry it with you, always. Now she seeks to create another echo, a wound in the Force. Greater than the one before, greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the Force until no life is left. You were strong enough to withstand it once, but few have your strength in such matters, especially if they are unprepared. I do not know, but she needs you there. If you choose not to follow, she will murder herself at the heart of Malachor and you will die along with her. She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sith, and the death of the Force. It is madness, it is impossible, but she believes you are the key. There are places in the galaxy dead to the Force where nothing lives, where the echoes travel forever and do not reach their destination. And these places may be created, even from the simplest of events, the slightest of motions. One person, at the right place, at the right time, can change the face of the galaxy, or end it. You are important to her somehow, but I... But I do not know for certain. She is willing to sacrifice herself at the heart of that graveyard world for you. A choice others have made in the past. A choice I wish to make. It is because I care for you. And I suspect that you alone hold that place in her heart where nothing else lives. And that is why you are the only one who can stop the destruction to come. And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world? Or end my life as I wish to end yours?
It does not matter. Not now. It is what I did with such pain that caused the wound. But I thank you. <laughs> Leave now, while you can. Save Telos. Save the galaxy. Save yourself. <laughs> Well, what do we have here? I didn't believe it when Lino reported the Ebon Hawk at dock, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. <laughs> Lieutenant Gren, Sith forces have breached the module and are attempting to pen us up in the compound. Damn! Saron! I need you and your men to break through and lead the assault. With pleasure, Lieutenant. All right, follow me. It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere, and the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the Sith troops. We chose to retreat and began the evacuation instead. Then there's also the fuel situation. Because we don't have enough fuel, we won't be able to keep the station in orbit and operational and fight off the Sith at the same time. We'll try to make the best of what we have left, but it's going to be cutting it pretty close. The Sith numbers seem limitless, but we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. A squad of troops sent by Queen Talia are currently trying to keep the Sith from sabotaging the station's fuel system. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Good luck. I must leave you for a time, to gather my Mandalorian warriors. We will rejoin you when the time comes for the assault on the Ravager. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself just fine. Look after your own health. This is no time for... Look, this is no... So, we meet again. I hardly expected to see you again. Here of all places. Major, actually. And I have you to thank. Queen Talia saw fit to promote me for my service. When the TSF sent out a distress call, I gladly volunteered to lead a strike force. My troops have already gone ahead and infiltrated the urban module. 
From their last transmission, they're almost to the TSF station. Lieutenant Grin informed me that the Sith are attempting to sabotage the fuel control systems, which would take the station out of orbit. At the moment, that seemed to be the most pressing need. The TSF do their jobs well, but they are not professional soldiers. They're not properly equipped to deal with this. My men have come under heavy attack in the urban module and taken some casualties. If they can't accomplish their mission, we'll be in some trouble. In that case, if you find my men and they are in need of assistance, please help them. Sith are trying to hold us up in this compound. We need to break through or our reinforcements won't be able to move out. Now let's punch a hole in this Sith barricade. you're here. We just can't seem to make any progress against the Sith line. After they established their position, they brought out their turrets. They've been devastating our numbers. Uh, we managed to take a few out, but they just keep unloading more of them to replace the destroyed ones. It's up to you to help us throw them back. We gotta get them cleared out of here, and then we're ready for one last charge. All right! Everyone provide covering fire for the Jedi, then advance on the Sith positions. We'll be right behind you. Good luck.
I'm not dead. I guess that's something. I got hit by a grenade. I, I just barely missed the whole blast. Ugh. They're, they're moving ahead towards the TSF office. It's tough going, though. The, the Sith, they seem to be everywhere. Well, that's a relief. Of course, if we can't stop the Sith from destroying the fuel controls, it won't matter one bit. No. I'm going with you. I'm not doing anyone any good here. Something up?
will join you in the assault. These rank and file soldiers will do you no good aboard the Ravager. Let we Mandalorians lead the charge into battle and to victory. Kelborn, Zuka, you will be joining us. You will not face this alone. I will go with you and be by your side. I would have it no other way. Operations complete. Sir, Sith warship dead ahead of us. It's attacking Citadel Station. Let's close the trap. Concentrate all fire on the warship and deploy red and blue wings to engage enemy fighters. Sir, at this distance, our weapons will barely scratch it. We can't hope to match its firepower, but we need to draw it away from Telos. Sir, if it keeps firing on Citadel Station, the station won't be able to maintain its orbit. I am aware of the situation, Lieutenant. I do not intend to lose Telos twice. And I know that ship. It was a Malachor 5. suffered extensive structural damage, but its particle fields still maintain a minimal atmosphere within the ship. And our cargo? It's being brought aboard. Soon, teams will be dispatched to the target sites. Do the Republic forces suspect? No, Mandalore. The proton cores do not emit a signature the Republic ships can detect. If they do pick up the signal, they will assume it to be emanating from the ship's missile bays. Did you get an ID signature on this vessel? You were right about the vessel, Mandalore. 
It is of Malachor. It still bears the wounds of Mandalorian guns. Then let's finish this. And remind the galaxy of Malachor V. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about, Sith. You are coming with me. Don't get all sentimental. I just don't trust you to get the job done. Been waiting for this for ten years. It's just time to do things the old-fashioned way. Thank you. 